this video I'll show you how you can make text within this room and I will show the single line text before we're going to start uh, you need to make a text style to do that write style or st the shortcut is tinta and you can see there is a some previously previously set up text style I will show how you can create your own go to new say style one okay and by default the font is Arial and I recommend you you change the font style to some style within this order and so if you see this symbol with double a which is the font style of this of this program and the other are from the other program like ms word or something like that so it is wise to select font style from this autocad font otherwise your drawing may not be visible properly if the font style is not installed in your computer you can select complex so there is a complex font i will recommend to use simplex simplex which is a widely used font style and also change the height to zero so that i can edit that easily and you can also change this while factor 2.9 to squeeze the text horizontally it is also helpful to fit the text with a small area you can also uh, change that to very small to 9 for now and say apply and set card and close go to this annotation tab and click this drop down menu and click single line text so it is asking to specify first point so and click an approximate point here and it is asking to specify height you can click another point to specify height to specify the height within this two click or you can write say 12 now it is asking to specify a rotation angle i don't want to rotate say 0 0 is the default press enter and now write something and press enter to go to second line no and enter enter to exit from the command and if you click on this text you see there is a single line text so i will delete this one so i have this dining and the easiest way to make other text is to copy this text and edit copy and copy here to edit the text double click on it or there is a command you can see in the command line text edit but easy way to double click here and say wait room and enter to exit from the command or you can click in any free space to exit from the command if you want to change the text size you can do select that and write properties properties and you can see there is a text style you can change the text size to say 10 enter if you think the text size is not is small you can increase this and change the justification to medium and close this okay move that Now I want a room name with the tag. To do that, draw a rectangle around this text. And now I want to fit this text exactly within the center of this rectangle. Move that, draw a line diagonally and move that with this center point and click this center point delete this way you can make that and copy this one and say here yeah, right but when you
changing the name it is not fitting within this rectangle so i don't want this one whatever i write it will fit in this rectangle to do that copy this text bottom and now i want to make that with the justification comma go to this text again and i will say justify and fit so i am going to click just a nearest point here and also a nearest point here and say the text that should be 9 inter tiny and enter enter and now just and you can also center that by drawing a diagonal and move that oh sorry you cannot go this way move that with an approximate measure of this one. and now you copy this first delete this one and copy this say in this room and write so you see whatever you write it is fitting within this area so this way you can also make text and copy that to other side other room so this is the way you can make text in your room and you can also make the text tag in this video i'm going to show you the multi line text and how you can align that um, text with different line we put um, starting that create a single line text again click here here and enter and i have copied some text and i will say now control v and enter and you can see there is a single line text and if i want to make a paragraph then what i have to do is copy this way this way and edit some specific part of the line and then you can make a paragraph which is very difficult so i don't want this way Just press ctrl z to undo and now go to multi line text and multi line text works differently from the single line text you need to specify an area to fit the text click this point and go down not go up just go down following that arrow indicating the uh, direction and click this second point and press control v to make the text but you can see it is fitting now i can change the area to fit that by dragging this way and see if it is fitting yes are fitting and you can say this way so you can make change this way and click in the outside to and now you can see that the text is fitted within that area and now select this one and you can see there is three grip this grip allows you to move and reposition the text object and this grip allows you to reduce the height of the column and when you go this way it shift to the next column and this grip allows you to increase the number of column and this also allows you to change the column width so this way you can change and if you want to edit you will double click on the text and you can go that it's works as something odd formatting you can do lots of things here if you want you can you want to change the font style you can do that by just selecting this portion i can change the font style from any other font i can also bold the drawing i can underline the drawing and if i want to change the color i can also do some select this specific pattern you can change the color also from here and 
that is the other option you can insert symbol from here and you can set different of type of symbol here you can in, uh, input here you can also check that spell checker to check the spelling of the word you are writing so this way you can do and there is another option write pro properties to go to properties under under this text option you can see there is a text plan if you say yes and you can see there is a text uh, frame rectangle around this text you can change that the same way so finding changing the width of this rectangle the text format is changing to this way you can do that and you can double click here and you can also change that now i can add or subtract any other text and this works as a multi text if you want to explode that you can do that right x enter enter now the text is exploded and now it works as a single line text so you can double click at change but it's not no longer fitted with this rectangle and now the rectangle is with the polyline this way you can use the multi-line text now i'm going to show you how you can align the text with different alignment to do that go to properties and select this text i want to align the two line of text with this text select this text and under the geometry you can see there is a position x y z just click on this x position and ctrl c press esc and select these two line and you see the position x go says bearish because it has a different alignment click here say ctrl v and click in the outside or yes you see the text is aligned now now you can select that and you can move that in any position the alignment will be maintained you can even copy that so this way you can change the alignment of your text if you have many line of text without same alignment so this way you can use multi-line text command and you can use its functionality properly